Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Mercury Retrograde. What you need to know. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. So let's go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Scorpios, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do my Scorpios need to know for this Mer Mercury Retrograde? retrograde upcoming please holy spirit angel spirits and guides what do my scorpios need to know about my about this mercury retrograde please spirit something just flipped here okay we have the two of cups so we have the two of cups and we have the tower, Aries, Scorpionic energy. We have the three of swords and the six of wands. We have temperance, Sagittarian energy, the seven of swords, the ace of cups, and the four of swords. We have the two of wands. We've got the moon card, Cancer, Piscean energy. We have the ten of cups and we have the seven of cups. Scorpio, I feel like there is... A strong soulmate connection between you and your person here. I feel like you're about to find out a certain truth during Mercury Retrograde. Um, something that is going to break your heart. Okay, but it is uh, information that you have been looking for for a long time. And you're finally going to succeed in finding this out. Um, I feel like you're going to heal from this deception. I feel like you're going to make up with your person. I do. Okay, I feel like there's going to be a lot of healing. Um, I also feel that behind your back, even though everything looks good on the outskirts, that this person is still going to do it. Okay, so I feel like um, I feel like something is coming to light. I feel like you're going to make up. I feel like you're going to heal. I feel like everybody's going to kiss and hug. I feel like everything's going to be good. Uh, you guys are going to be on the couch. You're going to cuddle. Everything's going to be great. You, someone's going to feel like the worst is over. It's not because behind your back, this person is still making the decisions. Uh, it, it's an illusion. So I don't know if this person is cheating. You know, they're still going to cheat with other options. If, if they're lying or talking bad behind your back, they're still going to do it. Whatever it is that this person is doing, it's still going to happen it's still going to happen we've got the page of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy the eight of wands and the six of pentacles so there can be an apology here a lot of communication about i'm sorry i didn't give you a lot of affection i'm sorry i was breadcrumbing you i'm, I'm sorry that uh, there was no equal give and take here um or i'm sorry that i spoke to other people about you so we've got a huge apology coming in um someone here is saying that they're going to withdraw possibly from a third party energy um or someone here is going to stop juggling something else for instance like if this person's been giving more time and attention to something else other than you they're telling you that they're going to stop doing that we've got the nine of pentacles here virgo energy pre-empress energy we've got the world and the three of wands i feel like there's this energy of someone is saying here i'm tired of feeling single or i'm tired of being the breadwinner of this family i'm tired of having to do everything alone i'm tired do you understand this has to end you have to come in you have to help me you have to give me what i want okay um with the chariot card here cancerian energy and the queen of swords aquarius gemini libra energy i feel like you know i feel like what happened here was is that someone was being left alone a lot or feeling very lonely someone was carrying the whole relationship by themselves here scorpio and i feel like someone started to not trust someone knew something was up so they made the decision the decision to find information okay to find information and it may have taken a long time but I feel like it was finally revealed. The deception comes out. So you can't fix a problem until you know what the problem is, right? So the deception is out. We've got the Hierophant, Taurus energy, and the Eight of Pentacles. So now someone is saying, okay, now that I know what the problem is, now we can work on having a better relationship. Now we can work on having a better relationship. But you see with the Magician here, Virgo Gemini energy, the Six of Swords and the Seven of Wands, you're still going to be 
blocked. Okay, someone here is like, okay, we could work together, we can leave the past behind, work together and have a, a more peaceful future, but there's going to be blockages. There's going to be blockages here. We've got the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Cups with the King of Cups. So I feel that ultimately, see that Ten of Cups energy that we saw down here? Ultimately, um, the, the face of the relationship is going to be one of love. It's going to be one of romance. It's going to be posting things on social media that everything is good, you know, hugs and kisses and everything's perfect with this Ten of Pentacles energy. But the fact of the matter here is we still have this King of Wands energy, Leo Sag Aries being left, okay, because someone is off pursuing new, you know, new sexual connections or talking to new people here, okay. Um, I feel like it's the same story over and over and over again. This is a past life karmic soulmate for some of you. We've got the Justice card, Libra Energy, and the Six of Cups. This is a past life karmic soulmate. I feel like with the Nine of Swords here, and I feel that with the Fool card, someone here is just... Um, being tor it's like torture there's like this this energy of torture because someone knows that every time their person leaves the house this person is non-committal this person likes to flirt this person walks around like they belong to nobody okay with the empress card here and the ten of swords the problem is is that you may be stuck in a marriage or you may have children with this person or someone here really has a vision of wanting to be the mother of someone's child um the the father of someone's child like someone here has this vision of empress or is empress status in this connection and they would have to file for a divorce they would have to break up their family um do you understand what i'm saying like there's a lot to lose here so someone stays in this connection someone stays in this connection and i feel like someone this person is aware of that with the sun card someone is aware of that someone here is very strategic king of swords energy aquarius gemini libra energy they know that this wheel will always turn in their favor scorpio because there's there's kids involved there's 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 higher levels of commitment here or higher levels where you're attached to this person or that they are attached to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, so this person is constantly, you're constantly finding out secrets about this person. Secrets are constantly coming out. If you go look for the information, you will find it. And then, you know what I'm saying? They come in wanting a second chance. They come in wanting a second chance. There is this realization here, Scorpio, that you are stuck in this, that you are trapped in this. Or, you know, maybe your person feels this way. I don't know. But there is a realization that someone here is trapped in this connection. They are trapped in this connection. Um, page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Whenever someone here speaks, it's 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 coming from a page. Okay. Whenever here, so, whenever someone here says, "Oh, I'm sorry, I regret what I did, and I feel so bad," it's not. It's like you know, Page of Wands is promises that fizzle out, and with the Page of Pentacles, I mean. Page of Pentacles is a little more solid, but it's still a page. It's still a page. Do you understand? With the Two of Swords and the Ten of Wands, this person is always going to make the decision um, that's going to lead to the hardest outcome. And that's because we're dealing with a Knight of Wands energy here. Someone that likes to have strife. They like the competition. It feeds their ego. You see what I'm saying? They like that. Knight of Wands, Five of, of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. Someone here likes watching other people suffer because of them. They enjoy it. They enjoy this energy. Do you understand what I'm saying? And the only way, the Death card, and the four of pentacles that this is going to end Scorpio is if you pull back from this when you get tired enough when you get tired enough of the mind games and the rejection while you sit there being committed you know what I'm saying when you get tired enough and you actually start to emotionally unhinge and you start to realize that you're the only person that can go find the love that you want you're the only person that could make that happen because this person's not going to bring it to you when you come to that realization then you can start working on investing in the right things in your life but you know until you tell yourself that you're trapped in this and until you tell yourself that you can't leave and until you tell yourself that you know what i'm saying um 
you know, this is it for me. This is the way it's going to be. Um, you're just going to keep settling. You're just going to keep settling over and over and over and over again. It's constantly going to be the quit. Look at this. It's constantly going to be the king of pentacles, the queen of pentacles and the queen of wands in the middle. And I feel like this third party situation is not going to change because you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Okay. So I feel like this is not going to change. Uh, you know, someone is set in their ways and that's it. You know what I'm saying? They are the type of person that has a solid committed relationship and, you know, a third party in the middle. All right. Um, so again, King and Queen of Pentacles could be mom and dad. There could be a lot of finances involved in this connection, but Queen of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, make no mistake, there's no love here. There's no love here. Okay. It has, this has now become a very cold, um, a very cold household. We've got the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We've got the Four of Wands and the Strength card. I feel like, you know, in this household, we've got a lot of fighting, a lot of drama. You know what I'm saying? Um, people are withdrawn from one another. I mean, there's no love in this home. On the outskirts, it may appear that there is, but there's no love here. Okay. All right, guys. I love you and take care. Bye.